the best NBA player from each team, Orlando Magic. We've got the rookie, Paulo Banchero, carrying the Magic. I guess it's not too much of a carry because they barely have any wins, but he's the only reason they have any wins at all. Houston Rockets. Houston, we have a problem. And the problem is that their best player is Jalen Green. Who's Jalen Green? That's a great question. How do the Rockets have nobody else that's better? San Antonio Spurs. I'm gonna say this guy's stats, and I would bet my channel that you guys won't know his name. 21 points, four rebounds, and four assists per game. It is... Devin Vassell. Bro, how are NBA teams getting away with having nobodies as their best player? Detroit Pistons. The second rookie of the video, Cade Cunningham. He averages one less point than Bogdan Bogdanovic, but he's still a much better player. Technically, he doesn't lead the team in points, but he gets way more rebounds, way more assists, and overall, if you watch him, he's just a better player than Bogdan Bogdanovic. Charlotte Hornets. It's LaMelo Ball, obviously. Pretty impressive. New York Knicks. So they signed Jalen Brunson to a ridiculous contract. Was it worth it? Yes. The Knicks are miraculously not in last place, so any player that can take them from being terrible to decent deserves to be their best player. Indiana Pacers. When I say his stats, you're gonna think he's a superstar. 19 points, 11 assists, five rebounds, two steals per game? It's gotta be a star, right? Wrong. It's Tyrese Halliburton. Halli who? And the craziest part about this, there's sometimes a player that's great, but on a terrible team that doesn't win. The Pacers are winning games because of Tyrese Halliburton. So he's actually the reason the Pacers are winning. Utah Jazz. Donovan, oh he's gone. Rudy, Go oh he's also gone. Man, they traded their two best players. They're probably doing terrible, right? Nope. It's because of their best player, Lori Markinen. You remember when he was on the Bulls and he was pretty good, but now he's a borderline all-star. New Orleans Pelicans, and we have our first tough decision of the video. I gotta give it to Zion. He's scoring more, rebounding more, and believe it or not, he's been more healthy than Brandon Ingram this season. Washington Wizards. Kyle Kuzma is miraculously averaging 20 points per game. I just wanted to say that because I did not expect that to happen this year. But he's only their third best player. The second one is Porzingis. And number one, their best player is Bradley Beal, who is once again dominating. Portland Trailblazers. Damian Lillard, duh. I mean, he hasn't been so healthy, but he has just enough games played for him to make the list. And we've already known for years that Damian Lillard is a superstar. He is their franchise player. LA Clippers. It's Paul George. And before you blow a blood vessel, it's because Kawhi Leonard hasn't played this year. This guy's played like four games. He doesn't count, get off the list. So with Kawhi barely playing, Paul George is the easy decision. Toronto Raptors. Are you ready to finally accept that Pascal Siakam is a superstar? I think you're ready because he's practically almost averaging a triple-double. If any other player had this stat line, you would be like, oh yeah, he's a superstar. But for some reason, Pascal Siakam doesn't get the credit. I'm here to give him the credit he deserves. Denver Nuggets. It's obviously Nikola Jokic. Jamal Murray, you're great, but you're having a bit of a down year. Nikola Jokic, he just doesn't have down years. It's not in his DNA. He is like a robot who somehow almost averages a triple-double every season. He is their franchise player. Oklahoma City Thunder, my squad. We literally have a future MVP and Shy Gilgis Alexander. Oh man, if you guys don't start showing him some respect, I'm gonna explode. 31 points per game, six assists, five rebounds, two steals, one block. 
What point guard averages over one block a game? Mark my words, save this clip. In the next five years, I guarantee you, Shy Gilgis Alexander is gonna win an MVP award. Minnesota Timberwolves. Carl Anthony Towns is their franchise player, but he's doing okay. Some people are gonna get mad, but their real best player is Anthony Edwards. I know he's young, but he's young and doing better than the rest of the team. I mean, they have an amazing starting lineup, but they have been struggling playing together, and the only consistent part of them has been Anthony Edwards. Sacramento Kings. Do I even need to say it? It's De'Aaron Fox. There hasn't been competition for years, and there's no competition today. Miami Heat. Okay, this is like an impossible one. It's between Bam Adebayo and Jimmy Butler. They are both averaging the same amount of points. They're both amazing at defense, but I just gotta give the edge to Jimmy Butler. He has been more consistent over the years. He gets more assists, more steals, and he's just a more consistent all-star. When you think of their franchise player, you think of Jimmy Butler, not Bam Adebayo. Subscribe if you agree with me on that. Chicago Bulls. DeMar DeRozan is casually destroying the league. Oh, Greg, you're overhyping him. No, I'm not. 26 points a game? Are you serious? I mean, the Bulls are doing terrible, but DeMar DeRozan is their one beam of light on that team. Atlanta Hawks. Oh my goodness, talk about destroying the NBA. Trey Young, 28 points a game? Yo, do you guys remember just a few years ago when the best players were averaging 23, 24, maybe 25? And now there's like 10 players scoring 30 points a game. This is crazy. Cleveland Cavaliers. The Donovan Mitchell trade, was it a win? Absolutely. The Cavaliers are one of the best teams in the Eastern Conference right now, and it's a hundred billion trillion billion trillion percent because of Donovan Mitchell. They had the same exact team last year and did okay. And this year with Donovan Mitchell, they are literally a contender to win the title. And I don't even want to say his points per game because I think I might explode. Los Angeles Lakers! Another tough one! Is it LeBron? Is it Anthony Davis? Or Russell West? I'm kidding, I'm kidding. I know it's not Russell Westbrook. Relax. LeBron or Anthony Davis? Anthony Davis has been healthier this season than LeBron. He's played more games than LeBron. He's averaging more points, more rebounds, more blocks, more steals. If you still think LeBron's the best player on the Lakers, you might be a little bit biased. Philadelphia 76ers. Joel Embiid is averaging 31 points a game. What are these players eating? What new food is allowing everyone to score this much? Joel Embiid is once again having an MVP candidate season. I just don't know how the 76ers are doing bad. They have Joel Embiid as their best player. They have Tyrese Maxey, James Harden, all averaging over 20 points a game. Yet for some reason, the 76ers keep losing. I don't know why. Memphis Grizzlies. Am I going too far by saying John Morant is the seventh best player in the league? Not at all. Oh, okay, come on, you gotta give him credit. John Morant is easily the best player on the Grizzlies, one of the best players right now in the league. Phoenix Suns, 30 points per game. Devin Booker has been the best player on the Suns ever since he got drafted by the Suns. It's not changing now, and that's probably not gonna change for another 10 years. He is not just a franchise player, he is their player for the next day decade. Now we're moving on to the top five, and these are practically the top five players in the NBA. Number five, Brooklyn Nets. Kyrie, trust me, I wish with all my heart I could say it was you, but I gotta be honest, it's Kevin Durant. He, he's, he's their best player. Number four, Golden State Warriors. Steph, Chef, Curry, are you kidding me? There's nobody even close on the Warriors. He is by far their best player. Number three, Boston Celtics. Okay, I know you're gonna be mad that he's higher than Steph Curry, but it's just the truth. Jason Tatum, he has evolved to be a top three player in the league. But you know what the craziest thing is? When we do this next year, 
there is a chance Jalen Brown becomes number one because Jalen Brown is averaging 27 points a game. Number two, Milwaukee Bucks, Giannis Antetokounmpo. He led them to one ring and he might lead the Bucks to another ring. And number one, the best player in the NBA, Luka Doncic. He leads the league in points, and he leads this list at number one. 